Hello everyone, we will continue the topic SAP ABAP new syntax and in the previous videos we started with a report development in which wherever possible we will use the new syntaxes. So as a part of that we have written the open SQL queries using the new features of open SQL after that, what we did, we simply, simply use the table expression rather than read table. We use the line exist. Now we used everywhere the inline data declaration. We used the value keyword or value operator or value expression to pass the data to work area. Now people are thinking now, why you are passing the data to work area? From work area, you are passing it to internal table. We all know value operator is acting as a replacement of append. Then why we have not directly put the internal table here? Why we are passing it to work area? Then we are appending it to internal table. Just first, anyways, I will explain in the debugging mode. Just understand. Your data is coming one by one. You do not have collectively all the data. If you have all the data together, you can simply, simply use value operator and you can put it to internal table. But now your data is coming one by one. If you will put it to internal table directly, so internal table, first record will go. Next time, first record will be replaced by second record. Second record will be replaced by third record. So at the last, you only only have the last record. But this is not our requirement. We want all the records. That's why I am passing it to work area. From work area, I am passing it to internal table. I am appending to internal table. Because you do not have all the data together. Your data is coming one by one. So what I will do for the best understanding, I will explain in that debugging mode so that it will make sense because people at the last, they will directly use the internal table here and they will say only last record is coming in the output. So what will identify the reason why, why, why I have written to pass it to work area from work area we will go to internal table. Now, before we start, just see here itself how the new syntaxes are effective. At the initial level, we discussed by writing the less number of lines of code, you can get same to same output. Just see, in this one line itself, we passed everything to this work area. But if you don't know the new syntaxes, then how you are writing at that point of time? Suppose one by one, you are passing it to work area. Suppose first we put VBELN. Then we put, suppose, POSNAR, MATNAR, KWMENG, VRKME, MAKTX. Now, in one line itself, we are doing everything. So, how effective our code is. Now, I will put a breakpoint. We will understand how this logic is working. And then, I will directly put the internal table and show you what is wrong in that case. So what I will do, I'll simply put a write statement so that I can show you. Anyways, I will remove this. We need to display the output using ALV. I'm putting a breakpoint here directly onto loop statement. I'm running. Suppose I will check that date. I'll just take a very less data so that we can understand. I'll go to VBAK table. Suppose I will go for date, suppose 20th August to 22nd. Okay, suppose I will take, suppose uh, 22nd August. I'll just take 7, 22nd August. For 22nd August, we have three sales order now. So for 22nd August, I will go for exit. So for 22nd August, we will get three sales order into VBAK internal table. Yes, we have three records. 74, 75, 76. 
if these three sales order will go to VBAP, then how many sales order? We'll check that part. VBAP. If I will go for OK, I will put 74, 75, 76. 74, 75, 76. I'll go for OK. So we will get five line items. I'll check BBAP. We have five line items or not. Yes, we have five line items. Now for these five line items, what is the matinar? 492, 134, 42. We have three unique matinar. 492, 42 and 134. Now, now we will see. Firstly, first record from the internal table will go to work area. Just see this work area. As of now, this work area is blank. So 74 sales order number now in the work area. It will check into this internal table. Do you have a record of 74? Yes, we have a record of 74. Because see, just as what is the wear condition? Where VBELN is equal to first work area VBELN. What is first work area VBELN? 74. You all know values pass from right to left. So VBELN is equal to 74. It will check into this internal table. 74 match with 74. Yes. So it means this record will go to work area. Now if I will go for F6. Now you can see in this particular work area. We have the 74 sales order number. Now we are checking into LT underscore MAKT internal table. Do you have a matinar 492? In this internal table, do you have a matinar? Yes, we have a matinar. So this if condition, true. Now it is simply, simply moving that data from the internal table to work area. Now you can see as of now, this work area is blank. Now based upon 492 material number, this record will go to work area. Now I will do F6 and you can see we have the record in the work area. Sorry, I'll click on to work area. You can see we have the work area values. Now we are passing it to internal table. Sorry, work area. Now you can see in LWA output, we have six column data. As of now, it is blank. Previously, you are writing six lines to move it to work area. Now we have a single line itself. Yes. Now if I will do F6, you can see in LWA output, we have all the six. Now we are appending it to internal table. Now you can see in this internal table, we have the first record. Now, inner loop, if you see, inner loop will continue. You can see LT underscore VBAP. Now people think 74 match with 74. Now system will come on to the outer loop again. No, inner loop will go for these records also. Yes, where condition will fail. That is true. But inner loop will continue five times. This is the major, major, I will say, that's why we have a parallel cursor. Whenever we are going for nested loops, people think now one record will match with this one. Rest will not process. System will go for rest also. But where condition failed, that's why this inner logic is not executing. That's why we always avoid nested loops. But in some scenarios, we cannot avoid. In that case, we need to compulsory go for parallel cursor. Now, now system will come on to the outer loop. Now, based upon the outer loop, second record will go to work area. Now the second record will go to work area. If I will do F6, you can see in this work area, we have 75 material, 75 sales order number. Now it will come to inner internal table. Now what is first work area VBELN? It is 75. It will check into this loop. Now people think it will directly start from two second index. No, it will come on to this 74 is not equal to 75. 
Now this 75 is equal to 75. So it will process this. Next time it will process this also because this 75 is equal to 75. Next time people think, okay, it will process these two records, but it will not go to these two records. It will go to these two records also, but where condition failed, that's why our logic will not execute. And have you seen inner loop is again executing five times. Now, if I will simply, simply put a breakpoint and show you, if I will put, suppose here, I will do F8. You can see append. Now we have the third record. Now we have the second record into this internal table. We'll get the third record also because in this inner loop, we have 75 again matching. Now, if I will do F6, you can see con control is still in the inner loop. Now it will append the third record also. So now in this internal table, we have 75 again. Now, Control will come to outer loop because after that, we do not have this 76, 76 will not match. So control will come on to the third record. Control will come to outer loop and we will go for third record. Now, what is VBELN 76? So it will check into this internal table. We have two 76 records. Now, if I will put a breakpoint, now I will directly show you. Now you can see in this output internal table, we have all the five records. It is perfectly working fine because one by one, we moved it to the internal table. Now, rather than work area, now I will show you through internal table. Because to understand why I have not put the internal table directly. Now people, what they will do? They will try to put the internal table directly. I'll just copy this. And now I will go for this. I will simply append comment this append statement also. Now, rather than work area, now I will write internal table. LT underscore output. Yes, we can go for hash because I already declared LT underscore output by explicit data declaration. Now you can see we'll put a bracket here. Because internal table means what? You are going for multiple records. Okay, I'll check the syntax. And now I will activate. Now I will show you how the impact will be. We'll only get the last two records. I will run this. Suppose I will go for 22nd August. And this is the most common mistake because people think value is a replacement of append. So they will directly append it to internal table. You just need, you will directly use value as a replacement of append. You just need to think you do not have collective data together. Your data is coming one by one. Suppose as of now, firstly, first record processed. Now we have the VBELN 74. Now you can see in this internal table, LT underscore output, just see, we have the first record 74. Done. Now, now control will come on to the outer loop again, because in the inner internal table, we only have the month matching record for the 74. Now just see, I'm going here now. Now, here the most important point. Here in this internal table, you have 74 output internal table. Now we are appending 75. Now we are appending 75. Now just see, will it replace the existing record or it will add as a new record? It will replace the previous record. Yes. Now if I will do F6, you can see in this internal table, 74 is replaced by 75. This is not our requirement at all. We want all the records together because you are using value operator as a replacement of append. That is true. But you do not have all the data together. Your data is coming one by one. It means if you are directly using internal table, your previous data will be overridden. Now, suppose I will go for inner loop again. 
because inner loop will continue for 75, 20 also. Now just see this inner internal table. We have seven, this output internal table, we have 75, 10. But now we are going to append 75, 20. Now just think, will it add 75, 20? It will not add, it will replace this. Now you can see 75, 20. Is this our requirement? No, this is not our requirement. Now, if I will show you the final result, we only, only have the one record. If I will show you the result, this is, but we don't want this. We want all 74, all 75, all 76. So it is very important to understand what your requirement is. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, I explained why, why I put the data to work area. Then from work area, we appended it to internal table. Now, because the thing is our data is coming one by one. We are getting the data one by one. We are not getting the all data together. So you need to pass the data to work area. Then from work area, you need to append it to internal table. Firstly, I showed you when we have the work area, perfectly working fine. Then I simply replaced work area with internal table. If we are directly passing it to internal table, then what will happen? If you will pass into internal table directly, previous record will be overridden by the new record. So you cannot use directly the internal table here. So this is all about in the next video, we will discuss, yes, because many people are asking, you have put a loop on LTVBAK. Can we do not put a loop on LTVBAP? And this internal table will go for read. I will cover that part. In which scenario you can go for this? In which scenario you cannot go for this? So that's it in this video. Thank you.